Bondale, when does the group farting start? I made them watch my YouTube video. Do you have worms in your stool? I have an intern team in here now. Get that out of your mouth. The thing is, when Kevin's on this side, he doesn't know how to get out. Oh! Come on, son, don't be cringe. He took the phone. He has the phone. He this is such a little baby Kevin. Uncle Ben's worm farm returns. What is up, you guys? Today, we are going to be eating a Minecraft comforter with Clappy Blappies. In today's episode of Feeding Microplastics to My Capybaras, we are going to be learning how to make an iron pickaxe. Okay, I just put this little emu in here, and he's tweaking out. Temporarily, I'm going to go ahead and put him out here. Everything's freaking out right now. It's okay, guys. Calm down. Nobody's gonna get hurt. All right, looks like they're already comfy with each other. What do you think of these boys, big ounce? What do you think of them? What are your thoughts? Oh, it's, bless you. What are your thoughts on these men over here? But every day, I like to come over here, grab some of this tall grass here, as you can see. This is excellent food for a little big ounce man. But as you can see with this, he has plenty of natural, fresh grass. He's got lots of Timothy in there. And this is good for him temporarily. I'll grab some more of this stuff and give it to the Cappy Blappy. We even still have some rye in here. And this will be a great great addition to their diet and even though these guys have plenty of timothy in here and i just replaced all their stuff in here it's nice and clean i vacuumed everything mom when outside temperatures are like 100 degrees they will love to just jump right in there but look at this little man just munching right there on that lettuce he says thank you papa this is very nice my favorite part of the day is eating this nice fresh grass from you my papa please dad cut my nails no no I'm gonna go ahead and give some of this to the Cappies. And today I got some balls from Walmart. Some nice balls. Step over here. It still hurts my leg. Look at these adorable boys. I like to put some fresh grass in there too. So we have their pellets, which is fortified with vitamin C. We have the Timothy and we have some fresh, nice grass here. And because I am a bit of a Chad Cappy, shout out to Chad Cappy on Instagram. I will give these boys some fresh grass. Come on, don't be cringe. You're being cringe. It's only a matter of time. I give them three seconds before they start nibbling on this. Three, two, one, zero. I told you, I told you, I did not cut that. I didn't use any kind of movie magic. They love the natural grass. And I try to give them this natural grass as often as I possibly can. There's a lot more beneficial stuff in there than there is in just some dry timothy. They do let me put my feet right next to them now. And if they're being good, I'll let them eat all this nasty grass right on the couch that I got from my mom. You see this, mom? These cappy blappies are destroying your couch. They're annihilating that couch. They're destroying it. With no regard to me or my possessions. But now they are a lot more friendly and they're a lot more cute. They love it whenever I bring them this fresh grass. What are your thoughts? You like that grass, little man? See, they finally let me kiss them. I am making some serious progress, you guys. Look, they let me kiss them now. It has taken quite some time for them to get this friendly with me. I'm gonna go get them some other fresh grass. Don't jump off. Fresh grass for you, Clappies. Oh, oh, you got a straggler. Sorry, son, but you move your feet, you lose your seat. How about you be a good boy and hop up back on my couch? Come on, son, don't be cringe. The grass truly is the key to winning their hearts, you guys. That and force cuddling them and bottle feeding them. If you just grab them and then scratch their heads for like an hour, they'll love you. Your thoughts? You like me to grab you and bottle feed you? This one is also clearly way more chill. Okay, this one's my favorite. This is Gort. Gort is way more chill than Quandale. And I can tell from their faces which one's which now. While they're both rather adorable and cute, I can tell that Quandale Dingle is the one that's a little bit more skittish just because of the way he is, but also because of his facial features. Just so they get more comfortable with me, I'm just going to sit here and then eventually they're going to have to work on this grass right here. When they work their way over, I'm going to kiss them. It's going to be like a Lady in the Tramp situation. But they are definitely getting the hang of me slowly but surely. Pretty soon I'm gonna start getting them bamboo so they can eat some natural bamboo, which they love to eat in the wild. But look how happy these clappies are. But well, look at them nibbling on that stalk. They like the leaves a lot more than they like the stalk. This could just be an ASMR video in of itself, you guys. We out here group farting at 9 p.m. We really out here group farting right now, you guys. Quandale, when does the group farting start? When will the group farting start, Quandale? I've been waiting here for hours. Is I'll let these boys hang out and do their thing. Clearly, they're showing tons of signs of improvement. They let me hang out with them a lot more. They let me get really close to them. I mean, just a second ago, they let me kiss them, but they still don't like me getting up on them like this. But the good thing is sometimes I can trap them. You see this? Sometimes I can trap them. Okay, time to do my hundreds of other chores. As you can see, I made this a little bit bigger. The emus really love to get wet. It used to be when I was a kid that there were nine planets, and now there are 
90 planets in our solar system. What are your thoughts on that adorable little blob? I'm sorry, handsome man. I'm, I didn't mean to do that. This is totally Kevin's son. Take a look at him. This is such a little baby Kevin. He's probably gonna stink when he's older. If he's like this now, just imagine him when he's 80 pounds or something like that. And this little guy pretty soon, I think, will warm up to me as well. These guys broke out, which is great, but now they're just dirtying up this pond, which I guess is the point of it. I need to run a filter out here so we can skim through all the nasty stuff that they poop out. But where's little Donald Trump? Hello, Kevin. He's still trying to kill me, even though I'm way over here. Look at this little man. This is the most sweetest creature on our farm. And pretty soon we're gonna have to shear this boy man this chicken really just laying in the water that's how hot it is you guys chicken was just maxing out in the water no i bet donald trump is way back there in one of those ponds hello rebbington hello kevin you look handsome today karen hello man even this water was just hot for like literally a whole minute terrible terrible stuff okay now that i filled that up even these creepers are spawning here with my little pig these are called virginia creepers and they're spawning here i think they're called virginia creepers but this old man still loves me he still likes to be pet <laughs> or maybe not. Do you have worms in your stools, little man? Do you have worms in your stools? Sadly, I need to keep refilling this water because these guys keep destroying it. I have to come through here. The good thing is when Kevin's on this side, he doesn't know how to get out. Oh, no! He took the phone. He has the phone. He literally has the phone. Oh, it's a good thing there wasn't anything in there. Well, that was something. He also bit my finger. I hope that doesn't start to bleed in a bit. Kanye, get over here. And it looks like the chickens have dug up the rest of the trash in here. So I'm basically almost done grabbing the rest of the trash in this area. See what I mean though? The chickens just dug up all this trash. I hope this helps all you new people appreciate all the work that we've done. It took at least 70 hours to clean up all the trash on this property and we are still doing it. And for those of you that are new, this used to be a crack house and a car shop. They would cut up old cars that were probably stolen and sell them for parts. Sadly, a lot of the parts they discarded in what used to be the woods, which is now this area. Okay, just cleaned up the majority of it, but pretty soon we're gonna have to put down sod everywhere here whoa is that hit rapper an artist a baby how's about we let you out kind <laughs> come on buddy now that laying season is over i'm strongly considering bringing karen over to here so that she can have a little bit more space hello the baby the baby isn't actually so even kept in here you guys he can leave whenever he wants the gates always open i still love this little fire pit but who wants to have a fire when it's 106 degrees there's a random woodland chicken and there's donald trump all my bees exclusively use this little pond to drink Please, you guys, donate some pond liner to us or please buy some of our new merch in the description. That's right, you guys. We have products again and we have a lot more. And now old Uncle Ben doesn't have to individually package and ship them to you because it's done for us. And it's not my fault now if they don't show up. <laughs> but they will. And it'll happen a lot faster than what I was doing. Pretty soon I'm going to weed whack all this stuff. I really don't want this to spread everywhere. Everything else on the property is doing okay. I've been trying to water the plants back here as well as I can. But the sun just sucks the water right from their vein and we even have a new intern living in the greenhouse as you guys can see i have an intern team in here now this is where they sleep uh, we please get some water. Uh, we have someone filming for us and uh, it's another person he does all the hard work can we please get some more water oh nonsense please. there's plenty in here <laughs> all right see you guys see you in a week the last intern escaped and he got into the woods where he starved don't want that happening to you guys now do we <laughs> our usual the baby is vibing in the ritz carlton and because it's so hot he's covered his arms and legs in mud and water that's what this little precious man does when he gets a little warm you got a little thing on your face let me get off your face this is my son look at this man's tail all right as you can see i have cleaned the entire house look at this beautiful place anyone remember when i used to flex the fact that i had running water and these are all rocks that i found or purchased in places and if you guys order a baby or a Cappy Blappy plushie, you might get this obsidian in the mail. We like Minecraft. We like Minecraft. We like Minecraft. But look how these boys just vibing nowadays. They're so used to me just yelling and screaming in their faces. Now they're not even nervous when I come up to them. Look at look at this little man. I just went ahead and raked up all the stuff that they pooped out or they scratched up in here. Now all these guys are hanging out together, and this is a great way to get them used to each other, so that when they're adults, they won't be fighting. But like I said, Rias are really smart, you guys. It doesn't take them long at all to figure out hand-eye coordination they're a lot better at picking little things out 
and Rio will annihilate bugs. Emu and ostrich aren't as good at beak eye coordination, but these little guys will annihilate little bugs. I went ahead and put up this thing here so it doesn't get as hot in the barn because the barn has turned into a hot box. Hello, little man. Let me get that out of your mouth. Yeah, you don't need that. But ooh, look at these. Uncle Ben's worm farm returns. I decided I am going to keep these ostrich chicks in here until they're a little bit older to eat. This one still has a little bit of curled toes, but his legs are doing phenomenally well. These guys have healed up tremendously, tremendously well. They don't need their bandages anymore. Their legs are still a little bit bowed. This one still has curled toes, but he's doing great. This is how they drink, you guys. Look at this. They just kind of go scoop, 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 scoop. And the more time I spend with them in here, the more friendly they'll be. I have their food there now. I have this here. I replaced the towel so it's not nasty anymore. And with this thing here, we're not going to have a bunch of nasty sun coming in, making them too hot. I do have a temperature reader here that tells me what temperature it is from the inside of the house. And I'm not trying to kill these things. But we definitely don't need a heat lamp. And Tegu is doing really well now. And this little dingus is still a little bit skittish around me, but he is is eating. He's a small boy, so I give him these grasshoppers. See, so he just ate one there. He's annihilating that bad boy. But these are big lizards, you guys. They're gonna be the size of a dog. I'm still not quite sure what to name him, but he will be the size of a dog eventually. Look at that little man. That's it, though, you guys. Everything's thriving here. Thanks so much for watching my video. I love you guys. I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next. Oh, almost forgot the time. Mmm. Don't mind if I do. Dude. Group farting starts at <laughs> 9 p.m. Update: They now let my foot be an inch away from their face we are vibing and relaxing at the function but this is them all sleeping on top of me for the first time you guys i'm just gonna watch the video again with you guys and then i'm gonna watch some other stuff read a book and go to bed update i made them watch my youtube videos and now i think they're fan he had no idea how famous he was. Same thing with this little man who's just been sniffing my armpits for the last 30 to 40 minutes. I am your mother now.